What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be covering today is the top three 10v11 attacks in the current meta of the game right now. So I got a couple examples of each one of these attacks breaking not only the troops down, but also the spell compositions down on all different kinds of Town Hall 11 layouts. You guys know how crucial doubling these 11s are, and not only just doubling the 11s, but getting a very high percentage as well. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the Bowler Smash, this insane dragon attack that we have been doing over here in FFS, and it has had so much success, and it's so fun to do, so we're gonna go ahead and break that down. And of course, the Queen Walk Mass Valk attack, going 10v11. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the attacks. So for our very first attack that we're gonna be covering in this video is the Bowler Smash. And for very good reason, you can use this attack on all different types of Town Hall 11 layouts, and you can usually get a very decent percent, and it really does have the highest hit rate um, currently right now. Uh, being the Bowler Smash, and who better to learn this attack from than one of the top 10v11 attackers in the CWO. We got PSC on his Town Hall 10 account, going to show us exactly how to break this attack down to double these Town Hall 11s, which are ever so crucial in these clan wars. So he's starting off with a golem up at 12 o'clock with the Archer Queen behind it, and just drops about five, six bowlers, followed up by a Rage, and remember, it's all about creating that funnel to get that town hall that's in the center of the base. So, goes ahead and drops, gets that rage down, clears that, not only the, the upper side up at 12 o'clock, but with that nice split from the bowlers, actually gets a few buildings over on the left-hand side. And you can clearly see a huge funnel was created right there. And remember, it's all about patience. You guys get three minutes for these attacks, and sometimes these 10 v 11 attacks only last a minute, minute, minute and a half sometimes. So it was just nice and patient, had, popped that queen ability just in time, got a few more buildings out of it, and you can already see the funnel already being created. Now he's over at three o'clock, followed up by his second golem, and just drops about seven or eight bowlers, followed up by a rage, funneling that whole bottom right-hand side, gets a jump spell down where he drops his third golem, this was a stoned attack, and drops the rest of his bowlers, followed up by the CC, and they have a direct path leading right into the town hall, as he has that jump spell down, didn't bother with ball breakers, has a nice freeze on not only the Inferno Tower, but also catches the Wizard Tower as well, and he also brings a max quake in the clan castle that he dropped in the center uh, to soften everything up. That's 25% uh, hit points that it does on any structures. So uh, dropped a nice uh, quake right there. And notice he does have a Valkyrie and a few baby drags on the back end, and he gets just that much more percent. Uh, brings a pair of baby drags and that Valkyrie for good luck right there and ends this one. Uh, ends his attack at 64%. So very solid attack by PSC doing it with the Bowler Smash. We're gonna go ahead and check out one more example of this attack. Now we have Alex uh, gonna be demonstrating the Bowler, uh, Bowler Smash. And it works very well on layouts like this, this kind of checkerboard layout because it's very easy, um, or easier I should say, no, nothing's easy at 10 v 11 but it's, e is, it's easier to create a funnel on layouts like this where you can have a jump leading everything in and you don't even have to uh, bother with wall breakers on the entry. So you'll see uh, how it has these external walls uh, the, the, uh, that go around each side of the base, drops a few uh, wall breakers, and that's basically just so the golems don't route all the way around. Uh, so just gets a really nice funnel set up starting at 6 o'clock right there. Just like in PSC's attack, drops the golem, drops the bowlers, rages everything up, does the same thing over at 3 o'clock uh, where he drops his uh, golem, bowlers, and the archer queen is over there. So he's going to do a really good job funneling that side. Third golem down with a jump leading everything into the core right there where he also drops his CC bowlers. Uh, goes ahead and rages everything up right there. Also has a heal spell, freezes the eagle artillery right there as it was uh, doing quite a bit of damage, and 
You'll see right here already at 45%, but look at all those bowlers that he has in the core. Even his queen is still up, uh, just trimming that upper right-hand side of the base right there and does have a couple baby drags that he's bringing along uh, to really get some really good percent. You'll see he's already at 57% right now uh, on this attack. Queen still doing work, finally goes down. You'll see he has a baby drag up there on that mortar and it's always good, obviously, to drop your baby drags outside of the range of any air defenses and usually want to get baby drags where there's not a lot of high HP buildings um, such as any type of barracks, mortars, uh, mines, pumps, anything like that, builder huts so they can get at least three, sometimes four buildings if not more if, as long as there's no seeking air mine. So just a really good job on that one. Next up, now I don't know if GG was the originator of the attack but he's the first one that I saw use it and has been very successful uh, with this attack, especially on these base layouts where you have offset air defenses, you know, or, or at least the air defenses on the back end are out of range of the town hall. I have a few examples uh, using this attack. And basically what you're doing is you drop your golem, as you see, starting at three o'clock, followed up by the archer queen behind it and your camp bowlers. You bring six bowlers in the camp on this attack, goes ahead and drops a rage um, right on those bowlers, on that golem, a uh, queen steps inside that rage and just sets a really nice funnel and he ends up getting two air defenses um, over at three o'clock. And once he pops his archer queen ability, he is gonna be getting uh, the second air defense down. And the second, so that's the first phase of the attack. The second phase of the attack is where you usually drop your king with CC bowlers followed up by a rage. As you're going to be seeing, he's going to be doing that down at 6 o'clock. So there goes the king, uh, CC bowlers, goes ahead and rages everything up. And you can already see the funnel being created uh, for the dragons, just leaving a nice breadcrumb trail uh, right into the town hall. So you see he's already got the funnel, already, and again, those air defenses on the back end are both out of range of the town hall. And at the end of the day, the, even these maxed inferno towers don't deal a whole lot of damage to level five dragons that you get at town hall 10. The third phase is, and you'll look at those balloons, look at all the traps that they're seeking up. Very, very important. You actually, it's, it's an interesting concept. You actually use the balloons to tank for the dragons and goes ahead and, and drops a freeze, which is also crucial as we're gonna see in the next example. When he dropped that freeze, he froze not only the Inferno Tower, but the Air Sweeper to ensure that the dragons are getting constantly pushed back by the Air Sweeper. So they go ahead and get the Town Hall down. And of course he dreams, uh, brings a couple baby dragons on the back end of this attack um, for that extra percent. So again, you drop your balloons in front of the drags to, to absorb all those traps. So the balloons are taking that damage instead of the dragons and ends up getting a very good percent um, on this 10 v 11 attack. So again, I don't know if he was the originator, but he has really been doing this attack quite a bit lately with a lot of success. All right, next up, you guys already know, I gotta get a little bit of glory in here, showing you guys the same attack that we saw GG did, since I love the attack so much, I had to give it a try. And again, looking at this base, if you look at those two air defenses on the back end, well out of range of the town hall, and you can see the two air defenses on uh, the bottom left side of the base are within reach of kill squads. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna be dropping a quake right there on the town hall, softening up the town hall, the eagle, and the IT. Starting off with a king down here at six o'clock, uh, six, seven o'clock, followed up by my camp bowlers. Now, instead of the CC bowlers with the king, I went with the camp bowlers because there weren't, wasn't a whole lot of uh, defenses down there. So go ahead and drop the rage, got the air defense down, no problem. Notice I'm dropping the golem over on the left-hand side uh, over at nine o'clock, followed up by the archer queen. Uh, and she took out that mortar, so that changed the route of the golem, so he would tank the expo and the archer tower. Followed up by my CC bowlers, as there's a lot more DPS up in that area. Uh, got the rage down, so you'll see both air defenses are already down at this point. I go ahead, and I also dropped the queen um, over on the left side, because I knew that she was in range of the enemy queen, 
So I pop the ability just in time uh, to, to take her out and you can already clearly see the funnel is already created. Uh, go ahead and drop those balloons down to absorb any traps and followed up by the dragons. So they get tied up on the CC a little bit and again with this comp you're using four rage and one freeze. So go ahead and rage everything up and notice just like in GG's attack I freeze that inferno tower and that air sweeper uh, that was pointing that was uh, facing the dragons so without a doubt they're gonna take out the town hall and then I do have a couple baby drags for the back end I also brought one Valkyrie uh, switching up a little bit which she was able to take out um, two builder huts so got two percent out of that and it was not the greatest percent I did get the 52 percent but just a, a, a slight variation to the attack, bringing that Valkyrie, but still able uh, to get the job done. And again, this attack has been very successful with these Town Hall 11s we're seeing with these exposed air defenses. Now we got Lazy Rogue. He's up next. And it's very similar to the attack. Doesn't have any drags um, on the back or any baby drags on the back end or balloons. But if you check out those two air defenses, they are within reach of any type of um, kill squad being able to reach those ADs, setting the funnel. And uh, you'll notice that he's brought two quakes uh, along with this attack. This was a cleanup, so we do know that the CC does have a hound, uh, a hound loon in it. So the dragons are just going to be able to mow through this base. And you'll see he also didn't bring any balloons either. Just going to overpower it. Um, again, king and bowlers on each side. Had the golem and the CC bowlers followed up by the queen. Setting a perfect funnel for those drags. Uh, leading right into the town hall. He does have nine dragons in this attack. Versus the attack that GG and I did. We only had six. So just going to completely overpower this base. Goes in and drops um, that rage right there in the core. And again even those level... Uh, what is it? Level four Inferno Towers don't deal a whole lot of damage to these dragons. Uh, Town Hall is going to go down no problem. And he's going to get very, I, I believe he ends at 61% on this attack. Um, so it was almost a nice try. It almost looked like uh, he was going to triple it. Uh, had those air defenses on the back end. Uh, did and uh, the drags on the on the back end there, but was able to get very good percentage and just a slight variation uh, to GG's attack. Again, doing it with drags. These drags have gotten a lot of love lately from Supercell, and we've been using them quite a bit with a lot of success. So good job to Lazy Rogue on that one. Okay, now we're gonna get into our last. Uh, strategy here this is the third strategy the in the top three and this is going to be the queen walk mass valk attack um, that we're going to be using and on certain bases where you can't set a really good funnel uh, with bowler smash or if you have a layout similar to this one where you the the Air defenses are all in range of the town hall and a kill squad can't really get to them. Doing something like a Queen Walk Mass Valk is absolutely going to be crushing these bases. You'll see he's starting off at about 7 o'clock, uh, dropping down his queen, followed up by the, the healers, and started that rage nice and early. He does have a poison, uh, taking a lot of DPS, taking on both the heroes right there, uh, but did drop a poison to slow down both the heroes. Uh, once the queen steps up, uh, she's gotten, she's got, she got rid of quite a bit of the DPS already. Um, so she was able to come back to full health. When he popped the ability, he was able to take out the enemy archer queen and can, and you can already see um, that the funnel is already slowly being created for the Valkyries. So Queen is just heading up. Uh, again, not the, the only DPS that she's under right now is that Expo. So just going to get all kinds of value all the way around the corner at 9 o'clock. Um, just taking out all these trash buildings and a few of these defenses. And again, when you're setting the funnel, you're also getting that percentage. Um, already going to be at 30% uh, coming up here. So does have another rage uh, that's going to be dropping on the queen. There it goes to bring her back to full health. She was taking um, some DPS as she was making her way closer to that corner right there. Goes in and takes down that cannon. And she's going to get a few more buildings down uh, before she goes down. Again, uh, PSC did already pop her ability. But you can already clearly see that the funnel was created. Notice he hasn't even dropped his BK yet. 
yet he's already at 30, what is he, at 39% in the attack, 40%. So drops down those wall breakers, gets the wall pop. Even got a little lucky, one of those wall breakers triggered a giant bomb in the core. Uh, I'd rather have a wall breaker hit a giant bomb than a whole group of Valkyries. So right here, and, and the next thing he does, he drops down the king, uh, followed up by CC bowlers, and this is strictly just percent. He's not really setting the funnel for the Valkyries. Uh, the queen walk already did a really good job doing that. So you'll see he drops a jump leading right into the town hall compartment and drops uh, the, the main group of Valkyries and just trickles in just a few of them um, as they took out the, that defense and that gold storage uh, that was right there on the right of that compartment. Town Hall already down. Check out the percent, guys. Even has a few baby drags, I believe. Yeah, he has three baby drags he's using on the back end at 61% already. And remember, and he dropped the baby drag on that camp. Not only got the camp, but got a builder hut, basically one-shotted both of those, and just got tons of percent on this. Holy crap, he's going to be ending this attack, guys. 68% completely wrecked it. Guys were saying, nice try. Uh, nice try not getting the three-star on that one um, in, the, in the clan chat when that one went down. So very good job breaking that one. Uh, breaking that base down next up. All right, here's a look at our next example using the Queen Walk Mass Valk. And the reason why a base layout like this, if you guys see a Town Hall 11 with a similar base layout, it's all about value. And getting value from something like a Queen Walk hitting a base layout like this is absolutely prime where you look at the defenses. You can see all these defenses right here where he's going to be Queen Walking are all in range for the Archer Queen. So she's going to set up a nice funnel. It's all about setting up a funnel. You have to build a funnel to ensure that you get that town hall, which 10 times out of 10 is always going to be in the center of the base. We're going to go ahead and hit play. So he's always starting off um, with archers. Uh, when he did his scout, took a look at what he can get. So even if you drop one archer, that's going to be 1%. That's 1% closer to the 50%. So he's dropping down a few archers. Um, over here on the upper left hand side and the bottom left hand side goes ahead and drops a loon right there and grabs a Tesla which is going to open up that area where he's going to be dropping a minion over at 3 o'clock just getting any percentage he, uh, any percentage that he can so goes ahead and drops down his king uh, pretty much just funneling for the queen as he does want her to head left but remember as you're funneling you're also getting percentage so they kind of go hand in hand with each other, making sure that the king is far enough out of range from the vision of the healers, goes and drops the healers, followed up by a rage as the queen did get kind of low in health, but there weren't too many point defenses on her. So with those healers under rage, we're able to bring her back up. And you can see his walk is just going according to plan here. Again, using that king to funnel her and also grab percent. You'll see he's already at um, 30%. He's already at 30%. And still has a whole bunch of troops that he has to drop down still. So she takes out that camp right there. That little archer that he started the attack with is still working, uh, working on that mine down there. Goes ahead and drops another rage, drops an early poison uh, to catch the enemy BK when he pops the queen ability. Instead of the king beating on his queen, the king's actually tied up on the archers that she spawns with her ability. And then he drops a golem and bowlers. So again, creating the funnel. And also getting that percent, pushing the, uh, the queen along even further. Drops wall breakers, actually catch a tail end of that rage. Gets a double layer wall break right there as those expos, or the expo on the left, was still targeting his queen. So enemy hound and loon is out of the CC. And he ends up trying to get a triple layer wall break. Check that out. But a couple hit a spring trap and the rest of those uh, wall breakers roast. But... He does have that jump, which he just dropped down in that Eagle Artillery compartment. Something that's also key is your jump spells. Notice he didn't drop the jump to lead the Valkyries into that Expo compartment. He's solely focused on getting that Town Hall. Drops a Rage right in the center, and you'll see he's at 58% right now. And still has a Giant. Uh, wanted to get this camp down uh, at the end here, so drops a Giant. Was not able to get to get that army camp done in time, but has a solid 58% attack. 
using the Queen Walk Mass Valk. Good job to Alex on that one, breaking that bass down. All right, well that is gonna do it for this video on the top three 10 v 11 attack strategies that we're seeing in the current meta right now. Hopefully it helps you. And as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you.